So. Uh, clear out the room, I'm coming through, they wanna see what I'm about Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill, I'm on a paper route Extra, extra, read about it, I'm today's trying to tap it I put commas over bullshit, yeah, I put that on mamas They trying to block on my blessings, they thought I lost the stepping I bet on me and my team, ISO is what I'm repping Put on for the whole city, yeah, I got them rocking with me I bet on me and my team so it's what I'm rapping. Sending emojis. I'm blowing a pack of that OG. Don't be acting like you know me. And if you did, that's the old me. Good afternoon, guys. What's up? Hope everybody had a great turkey day. Everyone's recovering from eating way too much food. No, I didn't overeat, but I definitely ate, and I'm still eating and enjoying every minute of the leftovers that are in the refrigerator, which is definitely a blessing. I hope everybody's making the best of it today. Everyone's participating in their recovery today. It's a beautiful thing to be clean today, guys. Um, today, you know, I had a few situations present themselves here in the last week or so with having that, that choice to react or respond, um, you know, relinquishing control, admitting that I'm powerless, you know, over people, places and things. Um, it's been a struggle at times, um, cause I'm a control freak. One of my character defects. Um, sometimes I, react first instead of responding or simply not doing anything um that whole fight or flight mentality kind of creeps back up um and eats at me at times so i have to remind myself daily <clears throat> you know i've got a choice um i've got a choice to react or respond when a situation presents itself you know when life shows up um and all that anger and emotion and fear uh overwhelms me and i feel my face getting red in an argument or when somebody cuts me off in traffic you know i've got a choice um and i have to remember to practice this daily um learning to respond and not react um, or simply letting go and not doing anything at times for me is a struggle. I don't know about you guys, but it, it is for me at times. Um, cause those old character defects are always eating at me. Um, you know, learning that sometimes my first initial thought, my gut, my gut feeling isn't always the right decision. Um, and often at times, not every time, but at times it leads to, me saying something I shouldn't say and hurting someone else. Um, it leads to a lot of regret. Um, and then I start second guessing and questioning myself at how I could have handled that situation better. Um, you know, it leads to bad choices and decisions for me personally. Um, you know, today the solution for me personally, um, is to, Respond with awareness, like be aware of what's going on around me and slow myself down to stop and think. And that's, that's hard for me to do sometimes to pump the brakes and to stop and think, to take everything in, you know, all aspects of the situation and what's going on. Um, you know, and sometimes when I respond, I have to remind myself to respond loving and caring and listen and show empathy. Um, really try to understand what's really going on, you know, look at the bigger picture. Um, and that's not always easy to do for me. I'm an addict, you know, and I, I have to practice this and remind myself every day that, you know, it's okay to agree to disagree, uh, and move on from any given situation. Um, you know, simply agreeing to disagree in a situation and not continuing that argument for me. Um, you know, I don't always have to be right because first of all, I'm not always right. You know, I'm, 
not perfect and I make mistakes all the time. Um, not having that last word and just simply, you know, agreeing to disagree and just moving on, um, sometimes is the better option for me, you know, and it's a choice. Um, do I really want to keep engaging in this argument? You know, is it really worth it? Um, it's usually not. It usually just keeps tempers flared and makes the situation worse. Um, so I really try to listen and try to understand without judgment today. Um, again, I have to practice that. It's not, it's not easy for me to do, but the more I find myself practicing it and, and applying that to my life daily to things, things have just gotten so much better. Um, but it's not easy, you know, trying to listen and understand and not being judgmental. Um, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. Um, but it all helps me to control my emotions, my feelings, my thought process. Um, it helps me control all these things. It's awareness, you know, just being aware of what's really going on and what's important and what the bigger picture is. Um, just simply taking a pause, a break from a heated argument for me is a huge blessing. You know what I mean? Just simply saying, look, I I don't want to do this right now. This isn't the time or place for it. Let's revisit this later when we're both calmed down. It's the best option. Um, you know, because sometimes there are situations where they need to be discussed and you can't just simply let them go. And I get that and I understand that. But maybe walking away from them and taking a break would be the better option. And I have to remind myself of those situations. And, you know, it's a learning process. Um, it takes a lot of practice. Um takes a lot of practice for me not to be sarcastic and say something har- harmful and follow through with it. Because for those that know me really well, you know, I can be a sarcastic asshole at times. Sorry for cussing, but that's just me. I'm an addict. I'm sorry. Another character defect. Um, but I, I try not to be. Um, I like to have fun and I like to joke, but sometimes I personally take it a little too far. Um, and I get that. But they're learning lessons. I'm not perfect and it's progress, not perfection. You know, I just try to better myself on a daily best basis um, and not say anything harmful. You know, it's a learning process. Um, I really like the ability and it's, I'm really grateful. There's some gratitude in this, being able to just remove myself from a toxic person, place, thing, situation um, when I'm presented with life you know when life shows up and i'm put in that situation um having that ability today and not going back to that old mentality when i was locked up in prison and wanting to fight all the time and ask questions later i'm glad that i'm not stuck in that a toxic situation anymore and you know for me um there's just a lot less anxiety there's a lot less stress involved worry fear um letting go of some ego and practicing humility um, and listening to someone else's point of view and perspective for once in my life, you know, just slowing myself down and listening. Um, These have all helped me with the choices of reacting or responding to any situation that presents itself. And believe me, they present themselves daily. Some are bigger than others. Some are easier to handle than others. but, you know, it's, it's all, it all has helped me personally in my recovery. Um, it's healing, you know, it's mental, mentally, spiritually, physically, it's, it's a growth and it's a healing process just to be a better person um, and slow down and think um, and really listen to people and listen to what they have to say um, and understand that I'm not always right. Um, it's not all about me. Um, that I need to slow down and stop and listen at times. I hope everybody's having a great day. Like I said, I hope everyone continues to have a great day. I'm enjoying my afternoon. Uh, I'm still home recovering from my surgery. Um, I took the recommendation from the doctors to take the two weeks off. Um, and allow myself time to heal. So I'm practicing self-care today, guys. I'm taking that recommendation from the doctors. I'm still not 100%. I still don't have all the strength back in my knee yet. 
Um, I went out today for the very first time. Um, priorities, vape juice. I went out for the first time and, and ventured out and went up and down the steps. Um, and I did good. I did, I did pretty good. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent. I still feel like I could possibly fall. You know, the weakness is still definitely there. There's still going to be some, uh, therapy involved in getting my knee stronger, uh, and back up the snuff. Um, I miss being at work. I really do. I work in a recovery field and I miss it. Um, but it's going to be there and it's always going to be there. And, uh, I'll be there shortly. I just have to remind myself to slow down and practice patience and, uh, let go of Joe's will today and listen to the ones that are higher than I am, including the doctor, um, that know what they're talking about. Cause I don't always know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I like to rush into things and do things my way. And that always gets me in trouble. But I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day. I'm personally participating in some zoom meetings right after this that I've been participating in my friends at the, uh, Serenity Cafe are having a little speaker jam. Look them up. Um, they're actually, their link is on my Facebook page. If you guys need a Zoom code, it's there. And they're having structured meetings with speakers every two hours until I believe seven o'clock tonight Eastern with another fantastic speaker from over in Australia. Uh, a gentleman with 54 years clean, amazing speaker. I've heard this guy share time and time again. Um, that's tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. Um, hop on if you guys don't have anything to do and have time to listen in. Just paying your recovery today, guys. I love you guys. Thanks everyone for joining in and listening. If you haven't, uh, checked us out on YouTube or on Facebook and you got time, please do. The more this gets out to other people, the more people we can help. And that's what it's all about, guys. I love you. We'll see you guys next time.